financially, emotionally, spiritually, in all aspects. So, no, I don't think it benefits just the woman. Okay, okay. What about you, K Ice? Well, um, it it benefits the man too. Let me tell you in what ways. Um, it can help a man grow up, like go from a grown boy to a grown man, because you know, uh, it, it it'll help him take responsibilities more seriously. You know, um, it also help him learn commitment. You know, because the boyfriend and girlfriend thing, you know, that's cool, but. Being at a certain age with the boyfriend girlfriend, they it'll keep you in that high school, college mentality a little bit. So mm-hmm. it'll help a man, you know, grow and become more responsible. And it'll help him become a better father. You know, if he if he's in the house, he'll he'll learn how to you know check the diapers and just do everything better, you know, with the woman around, you know, versus be, being solo. He can still do it, but I just think he'll be better with the under the house with the family, you know. All right. and, and he could save money because he don't have to be going around spending all this money on different women, you know. So, <laughs> no, yay, spoil that one person. You got. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's how I feel it benefits him. All right, cool, cool, cool. Amy, before you fall asleep. Um, I don't think it benefits a woman. I, I just think that's crazy. That's even a question. Society thinks that I always think that some benefit a woman. We benefit each other. You know, it's just it's just a, how it is with men. Oh, it benefit the one. No, it benefit both of us because I work just as hard as my husband. You know, so that's all I got to say. But yeah. So, all right. So what about other cultures? Right, like we go to Asia. Or you know, even well, we're not in Asia. Asia. Well, well, Y'all just asking. Asking. I'm just asking. Like, asking guys, like, guys, look, what, what India? What they have the caste system, right? So well, I don't we, know. We, I, we I can't speak here. of that because we don't. Just we saying, don't live like, we don't, we we don't just, live that way. So if I move to India, maybe <laughs> I consider. <laughs> it. If I move there, <laughs> I consider. It. That one, but it's just it, like I think that's a cop out saying both. I think you know, of course, you it's think it's a cop out that both benefit. What? No, I'm talking about like you just saying like I feel like just answer one of them like I feel like everybody can say both of course, but like what? get more deep deep down. <laughs> you say your answer not good enough, Amy. You didn't die. Yeah, it's not enough. good enough. That's a cop out. So what's what's not good about it? Because I got time tonight, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like, well, I when think... you really think about marriage, you know, what, you know <laughs> I'm what, kidding. What, what the women and men bring to the table. I mean, like I said, in different areas, of course, there were more advantages to marriage. You know, like I said, back then, they all told the, the woman, you better find you a good man because he going to set you up. He going to take care of you. He going to make sure your family is good. So, of I course. Mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. So you marry up, said, not down. Yeah. They always wanted the woman to marry into a predominant or, or uh, wealthy family now. No time change, man. Nobody wealthy yet. no more. Yeah, it, 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 that's why if y'all if you listen to what I'm saying, I said back then and today. I'm spending right. that's why I said you can't really say back then. Yeah, I feel like it benefit the woman, but in today's age, I feel like it probably benefit the man because of mm. how the women bring in okay. more to cash and have more jobs now. They well, you women are graduating college. <laughs> women, huh? You just thinking on a financial Standpoint, Wait, no, it just yeah, nah, I see what he's saying. I see what he's saying. He, he, he kind of right, he kind of right because women are now are smarter, they graduating <laughs> college in a faster rate than men, so now they're yeah. taking care of us financially and emotionally. No, we ain't taking care of y'all. <laughs> most but, that's why most women who are wealthy are not married because they ain't trying <laughs> to take care of a man, exactly. That's what that's what I'm saying. It taking you know, that's why it's gonna benefit the man to grab a woman that's. You know, have a sound, a good health insurance, financially stable, and have all, all these things going for her. Because I feel like in today's age, it's kind of like slim pickings. It is. So, hey, let's let's just say you're right about that. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the man now is. I feel like the man get more out of marriage than the woman now. Yeah. Really, can I add something to you guys too? 
Yeah, it's okay. Did you guys know that a lot of people just submit to one another? Yeah, right. The talks are talking about as a society. I'm not talking about any spiritual. I'm talking about as a society. It it benefits the man to to marry a woman of standard. Bam. Did you know one thing that's crazy though? That in today's day and age, to say with the young generation, very few people are actually dating or getting mm-hmm. married. Yeah, because they're all on Pornhub and OnlyFans and Tinder, so they're just looking up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. the fake stuff online, right? So there's Twitter. no, there's not, there's not that's being why, a lot of real relationships. You know what I tell it's my crazy. friends now? You know what? All my all my guy friends are mostly single. I said, Whoa. I'm blessed because I found me a wife. I said, but for y'all, I feel for y'all because for it, it's, y'all going to really have to search to find you a, a good woman. You know what I'm saying? 